Good morning, DBS family. It's another beautiful day here at DBS, as I like to say. I think that's becoming a norm here for us this morning because we are really blessed here in St. Lucia. We have beautiful sunshine on a daily basis in the morning just to start us off with the right energy for the day. And as you know, we're here to boost that energy and make sure that you are ready and raring to take on whatever the day has to throw at you. So without further ado, is that a thing? Without further ado, because I'm out here making up new phrases, we're going to kick things off with our morning news highlights. And that's a wrap for our morning news highlights. Thank you so much to our dedicated news team for always keeping us so well informed about what is happening on our special slice of the world. You guys, as we head in... in what is happening this morning? Maybe I should have drank more water this morning. Remember to always drink water in the morning. It really affects how you start off your day. So, like I was trying to say earlier, we have a very special episode ready for you guys today. And I may say that a lot, but come on. You have to admit, we have a lot of great content for you guys. And no episode is ever like something we brought before it. So, if you guys are ready, grab your tea. Make sure you have breakfast or maybe you're already getting dressed because you're an early riser getting ready to face that traffic. Keep it locked right here because we'll be right back. DBS family today we are sharing this beautiful view with a very beautiful young lady here with us this morning to share some information on her new project coming out for independence so good morning Anna hi good morning how are you darling I'm doing pretty well you guys know that Anna is no stranger to the morning show I mean you guys have already heard about her business naughty and design yes but in case you are new here or you're just joining us or maybe you missed anna's last feature please tell us a little bit about naughty and designs okay no problem love i started my business naughty and designs about six years ago and right now i have expanded from doing just my friendship bracelets to doing resin products and what she's about to speak about with me is on the resin side of my business and it's also independence themed all right guys you know the month of february is always pretty packed here in saint lucia but valentine's has come and gone and we are in full gear for independence 43 so in case you guys are looking out for your independence 43 merch or you just want to you know accessorize a little bit closer to home be a little bit saint well a little bit more saint lucian than usual or send gifts over to your friends and family who want to represent in other countries anna is here to help you out so tell us a bit about how you intend to do that no problem love so my business naughty and designs were well we already launched it it's called lucian at heart with the lucian at heart line we have tooth style necklaces and a heart keychain with those you can see that the 758 and the bubsy necklace which is a teardrop they all represent St. Lucia with the flag and it's the same for our keychain where we just have the heart which is blue and it has the flag design on it and I can't wait for you guys to purchase it because trust and believe I am on my third or fourth batch right now of keychains and necklaces just and believe these are going fast and i'm going to be out of necklaces soon sadly <laughs> i didn't expect that but i'm so grateful for it and i know you guys will love the product as well when you guys see it all right well we've been toying with some of anna's um products this morning and when i tell you quality it's even hard to believe that sis is creating all these things in the comfort of her own home you think there's a whole factory going on in the background but guys on camera right now is your whole factory for naughty and designs anna is a wonder of this world <laughs> to say the least so what if me as a consumer i know you mentioned that your independent stuff is going fast mm -hmm. but i know you do custom products as well so what if i wanted to get something to represent maybe for me babano 
specifically Babono Massive, you know, or if somebody from Denry, I know Denry is very patriotic, the Denry residents and their nationals, the Denry nationals, are very patriotic. So what if somebody wanted to get something to rep their district? Okay, well, we haven't thought about that as yet, but since you're putting me onto something here, we have a lot I'm, of going ideas sit, on the show. I'm going to sit down and think about that, because I didn't, honestly, but now something I'm going to put in the works. All right, guys, you see, we're hooking you up this morning. We're hooking you up. So just let the viewers know how exactly they could get in contact with you if they want to rush in to get on that list for the independence orders or since you put the idea out there they want to get something to rep their districts okay no problem love so we recently got our number so you guys can call or whatsapp us on 7298930 or you can just shoot us a message on instagram on facebook they're both naughty and designs and it's a n d e z i n g s <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much to Anna again for being here to share her wonderful talents with us. So I hope you guys took down that information. If not, it is on the screen right now. It's Naughty Anne Designs. And she's stepping up her business. She now has a number for you to call and WhatsApp. So keep it locked right here on The Morning Show. We'll be right back. family as you know one of the things we like to focus on here on the morning show is keeping you well informed about what is happening here in saint lucia and thankfully we always have the right people around to do just that today we're joined by nixon barry a youth officer from the ministry of youth development and sports here to speak to us about a new program that the ministry is looking into for this year so good morning barry good morning jack and thank you very much for having me on this program all right so get us into it what kind of program are we looking at i know you mentioned that it has a lot to do with the virtual world the cyberspace so brief us on what we're looking into All right so the ministry of development and sports has embarked on this new challenge to digitize youth development services in saint lucia and we've conceptualized the virtual youth development program which has five main pillars we're talking about the virtual psychosocial support where we focus on youth mental health, um, Crossroads, which is our live show, which is buzzing right now. We have our 758 Youth Connect application or app, where, which will serve as the, the central hub information system for the Ministry of Development and Sports. Um, we also have our virtual art space where we promote youth talent, public speaking, etc. And finally, we have our e-learning, which would look at delivering certified um, development programs to young people. So we're talking about training in communications, training in finance, things that will help build the capacity of young people and youth and support organizations in St. Lucia. All right. Well, I mean, one thing people usually complain about in the Caribbean is that our services tend to be a bit outdated in how they try to reach our demographic. Their target demographics i should say so in reaching out to young people that is fantastic to be going through social media going through apps because that's really where young people myself included exactly. that's where yes. you're gonna be able to reach us so has there been a timeline erected for when we should start seeing things roll out for this initiative some components of the program um, are already active in fact um, we'll be having the official launch today february 17th live on GIS from 7 to 8 p.m. So we have live streaming on NTN, Facebook, and we have a Zoom platform so people can come in and ask questions directly. The virtual psychosocial support has been active from since 2020. Um, okay. It was COVID, young people were in isolation, there was so much happening, youth mental health was at risk. So we had to get this program going. Um, so that is very active. We have Crossroads, which is a new buzz, which will be launching today. Um, and we're having, of course, the Prime Minister and Ronaldo as our first guests. Uh, Crossroads really is about exploring youth talent. 
diving into the the, the the depth of the community, the grassroots and pulling out young people that are making a difference and giving them a platform. It's about reaching these young people, promoting youth advocacy and getting young people to, to share their voice. Now that you mentioned this crossroads thing, I think I've seen a couple videos yes. and posts out on social yes. media and the people on those flyers look so familiar. Actually, let's take a, a look at one of those videos right now. Hi, I'm Jacques Awuding, your host for Crossroads, where we discuss the ins and outs of youth and sports development. Join us at 7 p.m. on The Dot on February 17th for our first edition. In this episode, we are going to discuss the youth economy and its contributions to national development. So you do not want to miss it. That's live on NTN and Facebook on February 17th at 7 p.m. See you there. That girl looks so familiar. I think yes. she's so cute. Yes. <laughs> I think she brings a unique set of talents um, to Crossroads, both Chaka and Kareem. Mm. <laughs> Two great <laughs> minds um, with a passion for, for, for journalism, for passion for sharing. And I think they were the best people to unlock um, Crossroads so that young people can be able to share what they, what, they, what they have to offer. And like you mentioned, very important guest on tonight's show. Yes. Um, Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip J. Pierre is going to be there really unlocking this whole youth economy that we're going to be heading into. So how's that looking? Are you excited? I know I... this initiative has been your baby. Um, I'm super excited. I mean, the youth economy has been the talk of the day for a while now. And I think that young people need a close up. They need a one to one with, with the man behind the youth economy, the Honorable Philip Kepe. So I think this would create a very good opportunity. I'm excited about having them come in live on Zoom um, to ask their questions directly and see how do they fit in. What would it be like, you know, for young people who want to access and be a part of this whole youth economy movement? Well, I'm definitely looking forward to being part of that. Like we mentioned and like the video said as well, it's 7 p.m. tonight, live on NTN and on Facebook. And it should be live on the Government Information Services YouTube as well. So you guys have every resource available for you to tune in. You have any final polls for any viewers who are hesitant about tuning in tonight? Don't miss it. This is a new beginning. This is the digitization of youth development services in St. Lucia. You have to be a part of it. Crossroads, where we discuss the ins and outs of youth and sport development. You just have to be a part, you know? So in closing, I just want to say thanks to the hardworking team at the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports who made this possible. I mean, I can't do this by myself. I have a, a very good supervisor and a very good team working with me from the Ministry. All right, so guys, we will be seeing you again later. But we're heading to a break right now and we're continuing with more of DBS this morning when we return. Barry, can we just get a final good morning? Good morning, Crossroads. <laughs> today for a very special segment with a very special friend of ours over here at DBS. Good morning, Mona Lisa. Good morning. Woo, you sing us with the pipes when I tell you all multi-talented. We have a lot squad, of multi-talented people. We brought you Jaden <laughs> earlier this year and look, we're meeting up with another member of the DBS crew outside of their regular designation. We're gonna be moving with Mona Lisa. So I hope you guys are ready. If it was one of your New Year's resolutions to learn some dance moves, we got you. Summer is coming up very soon. You know, they're planning to bring some parties back. You know, we're still being safe because of COVID, but <laughs> still being very safe because of COVID. Um, 
But yeah, you guys are gonna learn some new moves with us. I'll be learning some new moves as well. But I think we're in trusted hands here with Mona Lisa. Definitely, I will take it slow for you guys. See, we're taking it slow, we're taking it easy. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we're back with Mona Lisa here to teach you some dance moves. We're gonna start with a warm-up first. Warm-ups are important because in order for the body to move at optimum efficiency, it cannot go from a state of low to a state of high very quickly. So the, what the warm-up does, it gradually brings the heart and the lungs and the oxygen into balance, gradually. So let's start. We will begin with the head going down to the feet. So we start with head rolls and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulders will go roll and bend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Backstroke, looking like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now remember, all of this is gonna be done to music after I teach it, so make sure we learn it properly. Next, we have lunges with a hush, looking like this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. Next, we're gonna call down some rain from the sky, spirit fingers. Bend your knees, melting down towards the ground. Then we straighten the knees and then we roll up. We do that twice, spirit fingers. And roll up, six, seven, and we wave from side to side like a hippie, yay. Maybe that's five, six, seven, and eight. We go all around. Nice big circle on either side. Da, 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 da. One more time. Then we're gonna do plies with some arm movements. So the movements are one, two to the mouth, to the eyes, hey to the sky and to the eyes, me, to the legs and give some love, six, seven and up. Last move, breathe in, five, six, seven and breathe out, five, six, seven, we do that two times. Then I say do freestyle, we take a little freestyle with the music, do whatever you want. When I say pose, you pose. And that is the end. Next, five, six, seven, and. Uh -huh. Shoulders with a bend. Forward shoulders. Back stroke, look back. Hey. Forward. I should have said it. <laughs> All right. You're doing great. Don't stop. Hey. 
Make sure you go in time with my music. Get ready for the rain. Oops. Hey, roll up. One more time, hey. Mm -hmm. Hippie wave. I know, right? All around. We have players coming up with arm movements. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> All right. Breathe in. Out. One more time. And freestyle. Five, six, seven, and yeah. I think you guys did great. It was the cameraman bending for me when I bend. <laughs> <laughs> that was like he's keeping up. Yes. <laughs> That's a real part of the air that guys, whoa. I think my brain is still dancing. <laughs> That's a wrap for today, guys. Right. But remember to tune in to the rest of the show, and we'll be back soon with more moves by Mona Lisa. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us here on your morning routine, DBS. This morning, we are really looking forward to seeing you guys join us later today for crossroads like barry was so excited to share we are going to be interviewing prime minister philip j pierre and thank you guys for starting the day with me and i hope you're willing to end the day with me as well you guys go off and have a wonderful day keep that positive energy keep things bright and use today as an opportunity to maybe take three steps towards your goals today take three steps think of three things that you think will really put you ahead to something that you want to accomplish maybe in the next quarter or for the entire year and see if you can accomplish those three things today i am rooting for you we are always here to cheer you on to whatever you want to accomplish so with that bye <music>